Hi, this is Bill from Design Inside. In today's presentation, I'm going to walk you through how we took an empty uh, recess that was in an office for this customer and actually uh, turned it into a closet system. And it's actually usable for storage and storing all the office gear that they needed for their home. So what we started with originally is this office and this you know, beautiful single family home uh, basically had a large recess in it. So uh, originally it was roughly you know, three foot deep by four foot wide by about eight foot tall. And they already had a cam line inside of it, which is already great. Um, the problem was is it was just a big recess in the wall. So it's kind of like, what do you do with that space? It was really tricky. So what we did is we actually installed some closet doors in there. So we had a, you know, our, um, we specified the doors and we had our contractor come over and basically frame it in and put in the header rail here and made everything look really nice. And we matched it up with some uh, oil rip bronze hardware to you know, kind of match the rest of the, uh, the farmhouse look here. Uh, but now that we got this large closed storage area, we need to figure out a system in order to organize this. So, you know, most people will just, you know, go to Home Depot and buy a, a closet, you know, a normal clothes rail and we could do something like that, but that's, that's not fine. And also, it's kind of a waste of your space. You have a nice large storage area in here. So what we did is we actually um, bought an, a, a closet organization system. And we went with a really deep system that's 20 inches deep. And what that's going to allow us to do is actually use this as storage for all their office supplies, books, uh, materials, and larger items for their children as well. So what we're going to do is actually uh, walk you through how we installed this closet organization system. Um, everyone's a little bit differently, but it, I just want to kind of show everybody that it's pretty easy to install this system. Just with the do-it-yourselfer, you know, get it installed, and uh, then you have another nice useful space. So as I was mentioning earlier, now that we have the, um, the actual recess in this, in this office space, actually closed off as a closet, what we want to do is put in a good closet system to help organize it. So again, you could go to Home Depot and just put a normal clothes rod in there or maybe a shelf or two, um, but we're actually big advocates of um, using an official closet organization system. Not only does it work better, it's a lot more functional at the end of the day. Um, so we here at Design Design really love the Alpha system. I feel like we're you know, giving you a big plug for a you know, container store here, but it's really actually a great organization system. So it's not super cheap, but it's not terribly expensive either. And what's also great about it is they do free um, design consultations. So if you go into the store, if you go into container store with your dimensions of the room, um, one of their designers will help you design the space a little bit. Now we always go in and push the envelope a little bit with the, with the organization because we like to take advantage of every inch. Um, most of the designers we found there were a little more conservative, you know, so they wanted to, you know, go, you know, a few inches under the closet space, but we had them customize it so it could push all the way to the edges so we get an extra inch or two out of that space. And uh, for those of you living in, uh, in Chicago with your city homes, you know every inch matters. Even as you move up to the suburbs of Chicago and you got way more space, or if you're in a single family home with you know, 2,000 or 3,000 or 4,000 square feet, we're, we're still big uh, advocates for you know, using every inch to its fullest. Um, so what, what's cool about um, the Alpha system in this case is um, you know, they uh, take off the receipt here. You know, they give you the design, they give you all the parts you need, they cut everything, it's great. Um, so it makes it really easy. And then uh, I think the best part is you can just do, um, you know, uh, curbside pickups. They help you load it into your car and you, off you go. Um, so essentially when you get home, now you got all this stuff. Um, so what we have here is we have a few shelves. Um, we have the rail and the standards, which is kind of the core of everything. And then we have some baskets and, and uh, shelves as well. So what's really nice about this system is that there's actually a rail that goes across the top of the closet. So really, for most people, there's probably four or five holes you have to drill. They give you all the drywall anchors, you just sink them in and hang the rail. And then all these standards, which you see here, these long, these long vertical standards, those just hang on the horizontal rail, and then you hang all your shelves on there. So after you got it hooked on, I mean, you just start hooking things in, put the shelf in, and, and you can adjust things as you need to. Um, also with this one, we, we want to make it a nice office, so we actually went with some wood fascias that will go on the front of the shelves themselves. Um, these add up in price pretty quick, so um, it, it gives you a great looking closet, but it does add on the price. It's probably, you know, for this closet system, it's another hundred-ish dollars for all the wood standards and the shelves that go with it. All right, so now that we got everything laid out and all the pieces unwrapped, uh, we can start installing this closet system. So the key to this closet system is everything lays off this rail. So essentially we have this um, rail that's already been cut to length, so it's about 48 inches for our installation. Um, what's great is you basically, um, you know, you're going to sink your screws into these holes here and install it in your drywall. And there's these little uh, notches here, and then they basically hang what's called the standards of the vertical metal pieces. You hang those on the rail. And then all of your items hang off of that. So what we're going to do here is uh, basically put up our rail. 
And in this case, I know it's going to go all the way to the top of the, uh, the closet. And I'm always going to want to make sure it's level as well. So, you know, always get a level in here, make sure it's shown up level. And then what I can do is basically start marking where my holes will go. Now I can take this down, and then basically come in here with my drill, pre-drill those holes, and then put in the drywall anchors. So now that we got the, um, the basically the holes marked for the uh, rail at the top, um, next thing we need to discuss are your anchors, or, your, or your, your fasteners, essentially. So when you order your system, they're going to give you two types of fasteners. They're going to give you uh, wood screws, which look just kind of like a standard normal screw. Then they give you these drywall anchors as well, um, which actually have basically a wood screw that goes in it, and then a larger drywall portion as well. So what happens with these is as you screw them in, um, this plastic actually kind of spreads out and, and uh, forms behind the drywall, so it keeps the screw from coming out. So definitely use some sort of anchor with no matter what system you're using. Um, the only time you're actually going to use a straight wood screw is if you actually have a, um, a stud or a, a piece of wood behind there to actually hold this. So make sure um, you know, that it's properly supported. Um, when in doubt, use your drywall anchors. These work great. Um, you don't have to go into a stud or anything to make them work, so it's very convenient. So next thing we're going to do is now that we got the uh, wood screws all figured out, I'm going to start screwing in the, um, in the top rail. Now before I really sink the screws all the way in, I like to put one in here, and then again check them to make sure that it's level. If you don't have your rail level, it really makes everything else kind of lean weird and makes it difficult down the road. So again, just throw my level up there, the middle wall is uh, shown level, so I know I'm good. <clears throat> now I'm continuing with installing the rest of the screws. So now that my top rail is installed, I can start hanging my standards with a vertical post. Alright, so now I've got my standards unwrapped, and essentially what the standards are, again, are the large posts, and it has a notch in it. So this notch is going to basically go into the notch of the rail and hang on there, and then it pulls downwards. <clears throat> and then what we have are basically uh, little notches on the rail, where I can hook in my shelves and, and other accessories. So all we do is basically uh, bring this in, and we slide it over. And our uh, basically our standard is all installed. And I always like to give a good tug on it. You'll hear it creak a little bit, but you want to make sure you got a good grip in there. Um, you know, and again, you pulling down on this pretty hard and, and shaking a little bit, it's going to be way more force than uh, you know your, your clothing will probably um, put on the surrounding system. So again, just make sure it's installed properly and you're good to go. So now that we got the standards all hung up, what we can do is now start installing the uh, shelves. So. Again, they give us these large shelves that basically hook into the standard. Um, so it's really important when you start hanging these on that you look at your design. So here I'm going to make sure that I got my 33 inches. I'm going to install the first shelf. Now what's nice about these shelves is they're very easy to move. So if you, if you get it wrong, you know, it's not the end of the world. You can always readjust it. Now what we can do is install our first shelf. Um, so we can uh, either start doing that install the first shelf, or what I like to do is actually hang all the rails first, because if you install the first shelf, you're kind of leaning over it, trying to get into the top ones. So I always um, like to work my rails up, and then put my shelves in from the top down. It's just kind of easier to do it that way. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is actually lay the shelves in here. So um, basically, once you get the shelf laid on there, there's these little tracks that you can kind of, kind of slide them into. So the trick is you actually kind of start from the front, and just push down on them, and sometimes you've got to pull down on them to get them to lock into place. Now it's incredibly important to get these things lock into place, otherwise you, have a, you run the risk of the shelf actually falling to the point. Um, so you want to make sure it gets in there, and both the front or front is in the, in the little groove and the back is in the groove as well. So you know once you get it in there, it really shouldn't move around. So, so the next thing we're going to do is install the actual fascia itself. So the fascia here is a wood piece, and again we went with the birch color, but they offer white and, um, and espresso color as well. And essentially it has a little lip here. So the trick is that lip is actually goes on top. So what we do is we kind of slide that over and under there, and that's your lip. And there's a little plastic piece that you gotta put in as well. It's a little tricky, but once you get the hang of it, you'll figure it out pretty quick. All right, so now that I have the front fascia installed, you can see it looks pretty nice. It's a nice clean look. So instead of having the, you know, the metal showing, that's this nice wood trim. Um, and then I also installed the drawer. So drawers are always great because you can use them for organization of items. So in this case where this is going to be an office, 
Um, we wanted a, a more shallow drawer so we could put a stapler and, and an envelope stamps, kind of the, the little stuff that always kind of just floats around, you know, where they have good storage for. So that's what we put in this low drawer for. Um, and then, um, again, the drawers, they just hang on the normal uh, shelf brackets. So um, I put in those shelf brackets and then put in the drawer. So again, where we had the wood front fascia, we had to go where we decided to go with the wood drawer system as well. So it was one of the downsides of the wood drawer system is that um, your drawers are a little bit narrower just because they got the wood trim around your here. But it definitely looks a lot nicer and clean and matches with the rest of the fascia here. Uh, if you're looking to save cost again, you know, get rid of the fascias and just go with the normal wire wood or with the you know, normal metal drawer system. Um, I, again, I think the fascia piece is um, you know, another 20 or 30 bucks over just the normal drawer system. All right, so now that I've finished hanging all the shelves, I want to show you the completed closet. So again, we have the, the finished doors here, and just pull them open. What's nice is, uh, when we turn on the light, we have a nice lighted area. So, um, you know, we still have a few things you have to put into the closet, but essentially we have, you know, two full um, three-foot shelves here. Um, we have another two-foot shelf here that's somewhat adjustable, and uh, we're, right now we're using this for kind of magazines and sample items for now. And then we have the technology shelf, so again, three feet of technology space here. So we have the printer and the scanner that fits in there. Um, and then we have the modem, the routers, and cordless phones, and all the other gadgets that are pretty much critical for our house these days. And then what's nice down here is we have a slide-out drawer. So in here we uh, you know, keep items like staplers, tape, and other you know, office supplies. And then in the bottom, what we do is we have storage containers. So these are actually from um, IKEA. They're kind of a leatherette um, type storage container. But what's nice is you can hide away the ugly things that normally you need in your office closet. So um, you know we have paper in there. Um, some file folders and whatnot, and we can always label those for better organization as well. Um, so, you know, this kind of wraps it up for this little uh, project. Um, you know, start to finish, it took me about, you know, two to two and a half hours to, you know, complete this whole project, um, with a, probably another half hour of design time included with uh, going to Container Store for designing the space. Um, so it's definitely a, a little bit, you know, on the easy to medium size of a project, um, you know, Probably take most people a good chunk of a, a weekend day to finish this up, but in the end, we have a nice, useful closet system where it once was just um, pretty much an empty space in the room. So you know, definitely wrapping up the closet space makes this you know, room not only more useful, more functional, and you can hide away some of the ugly stuff in your office that you don't want other people to see. So again, um, thanks for watching this presentation, and if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments section below, and uh, we'd love to hear your feedback. Have a great day.